the High Court judge observed that the decision by the state to deploy police officers to Haiti contravened the Kenyan constitution. In his ruling, Judge Chachamwita stated that the country's National Security Council did not have the legal mandate to dispatch police officers beyond the borders of Kenya. According to the judge, the council can only authorize the deployment of the Kenya Defense Forces for peacekeeping missions. The petition as filed seeks declarations that the act of deploying police officers to Haiti is unconstitutional, illegal and void that police officers cannot be deployed outside Kenya. The judge elaborated that under Kenyan law, the deployment of police officers to another country is permissible only when there is a reciprocal agreement in place between Kenya and the host nation. Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry pleaded with the United Nations last year to urgently deploy a multinational force to assist its overstretched police in confronting widespread violence. The country has experienced unrest for years, with armed gangs taking over parts of the country and unleashing ruthless violence. Gangs are said to control about 80% of the country's capital, Port-au-Prince. Violence escalated after the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse almost three years ago. Kenya's proposal to take charge of the force received support from the UN Security Council and subsequently Kenyan legislators who granted approval for the deployment. Parliament cannot determine whether the sections are unconstitutional or constitutional. Parliament can also not determine whether the deployment of police officers outside Kenya is unconstitutional. Parliament's mandate is only to approve or not approve the deployment of police officers to Haiti. It cannot determine the constitutionality of the action. The first group of about 300 officers was to be deployed by February. The total deployment was to eventually rise to 1,000 officers as part of a multinational force of about 3,000 sent to Port-au-Prince. The decision by the court now throws the exercise into limbo. The Kenyan government, however, says it will challenge the verdict in the Court of Appeal. The government spokesperson says Kenya is committed to honoring its international obligations as a member of the community of nations. Enoxicole, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.